look into your eyes, shining so bright. I feel the love and I touch the light. Tiger Canyon's a sanctuary for you, for you, for you and for me. Talk to me and tell me what you see Talk to me about Tiger Liberty We have a tradition at Tiger Canyons that when it is full moon we sing, dance and tell stories. My name is John Varty, and for 30 years I have followed the big cats across the world, tracking them, filming them, admiring their supreme hunting skills. Often I become emotionally involved with the predators I follow, and I build up relationships with them spanning over many years. 14 years with a leopard at Londolozi, 22 years in the Maasai Mara, 7 years in the Luangwa Valley, and 6 years rehabilitating two tigers in South Africa have brought me a rare understanding of how big cats successfully find and catch their prey. I have selected some of these exciting hunts and brought them to you through the eyes of the predator, the prey, and the cameraman. Sit back, Relax and come and hunt with me. The migration into the Mara was in full swing and I knew this male cheetah often hunted wildebeest calves. So I rigged two cameras on the one Jeep. One with a 600 millimeter lens, the other with a wide angle zoom lens. This hunt reinforced for me the high risk hunting style of the cheetah. Just watch the cheetah's body on impact. And in fact, it's the wildebeest that breaks its leg, but it could so easily have been the cheetah. It is interesting that the herd bull defends the calf and not the mother. So it turns out to be a high risk kill for no reward. I knew the cheetah female well. She was an outstanding hunter and she was hungry that day. I positioned two cameras strategically for this hunt and we waited for five hours in 40 degrees heat. Finally the cheetah made her run. When she came out she ran away from the cameras. Then luckily the gazelle turned across the skyline running broadside to us. I later calculated she was running at 58 miles per hour. The kill is a classic. Watch the cheetah's front paws sweep the legs from under the gazelle. I went under the jeep for the low angle shot. I really felt for that cheetah because she was too exhausted to feed and once the vultures came I knew she had a good chance of losing the kill. And sure enough, a young male lion arrived to pirate her kill. When I started my tiger project in the year of 2000, 
There were reputed to be 5,000 wild tigers. Today, in 2014, that number is closer to 1,000. And the wild tiger is declining at the rate of one per day. At the same time, around the world, in circus acts and zoos, are some 60,000 tigers. So effectively, what we're doing is we're destroying the habitat and the prey of the wild tiger. And it is on the decline. And during that time, we're just increasing the numbers in the zoos and circuses around the world. It's an indictment against the human species. During the same time, the African lion has dropped from 250,000 to just 25,000 lions. The cheetah is classified as threatened. The leopard is on the decline. Now, if we can't save the big cats, the symbols of wilderness, the apex predators at the top of the food chain, then what can we save? Stalking through the grass Muscles bunched for the final match With the wind you run like poetry I see you lying on the brunch Eyes transfixed for the final launch Predator and prey, the ebb and the flow Like an arrow you drop on the prey below like an arrow you drop on the prey below Tell me what you see This is powerful energy Into the future they gaze Across his coat He explodes with blinding speed Lines move out through the grass Surround the prey so none can pass All for one and one for all Pride fights on till the buffalo fall Pride fights on till the buffalo falls. 